What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Spikes, and I'm back with another video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost knocked the computer off the truck, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, listen. Let's slow it down. Today, guys, we're going to do something today, man. It's going to be a nice little vlog today. We might learn something today. Y'all stick with me. We might learn something today. Let's get this together. Let's get this old camera together. Today, guys, as you can see, I got that HP tuners, man. I got that old HP tuners with me today. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to check our code. See if we got a code throwing. The truck's running a little funky, you know what I'm saying? In the morning times when you first start, it's trying to run a little funky. I don't know if my plugs fouled or what. I don't know. I put some... Anyway, I haven't... Since I tuned the truck, since I started tuning, since I got it running pretty good, you know, it's, it, it pulls, it it, 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 it it breaks the wheels and all that good stuff. So I haven't really been fooling with it, you know. I, I didn't want to fool with it until I started messing with the transmission. But, you know, I just said to myself, you know, I might need to check and see if we got any codes throwed or anything like that. I haven't did that yet since I had the truck. So we're going to learn today. We both, I'm going to take y'all with me. I haven't checked. But we're gonna check today. I got the HP tuners. I got the laptop right there. The truck's in the little shop. Got the keys in my pocket. Man, we're gonna see if we can get this thing going. Y'all want a cold start on this thing or what? Y'all wanna hear this thing? You wanna hear this thing fire up or what? I might fire this thing up for you. But before we do that, man, I need y'all guys to do one thing for me, man. Hey, man, like the video, man. Subscribe to the channel. Some good content over here, man. You know it's some good content over here with OBS, man. It, it's getting good. It's, it gets, it's getting better. It's getting better. Hey, and if you like the content, leave a comment down below. If you got any video ideas on trucks, or if you see something wrong, or you see, or you, or you, you, you see something you like, man. Hey, don't, don't, don't hesitate to ask a question, man. And um, yeah, I appreciate all my supporters, man. Everybody that been rocking with me from day one. Everybody that done come in and reached out on Facebook, Instagram, you know, et cetera. Hey, man, I really appreciate y'all, man. And it's a lot of people, man, that really appreciate, you know, just genuine content of these trucks, man. And that's what I'm all about over here because, you know, I just love these trucks. I just love tinkering with these trucks because, I mean, how many men out there can really say that you're done buying stuff for your truck? Because you're never, you're never really done. You might stop, stop buying, but you're never really done. You can, man. Y'all hold on. We're gonna get into this tuning, baby. Be right back. All right, y'all. I got the computer. I got the keys. I got the HP tuners. Woo! Let me get y'all. Let me get y'all a start on this thing. Y'all ain't heard it in a while. Let me let my subscribers hear this old shivy. They ain't heard it in a while. Ooh wee! Island down good, ain't she? Watch this. Ooh, look at that dust on that dashboard. Ooh, sneak peek. Ooh. All right. Tell you guys, so good. <laughs> here. I know my neighbors don't like me, man, but I don't care. I paid for it, worked hard for it. Listen at her, listen at her, listen at her choking down. Listen at her. Ah. 
right. Let's see if we can tune this thing and stop playing, y'all. <laughs> All right. We got that HP tuners hooked up. Got it down on that OB2, OBD2 port. We got that old fire key. We got power to that. And let's plug it up. DTCs. All right, look what we got, guys. Man, I'm glad I did this. I'm telling you, you see, it, it pays to do a little research, guys, on this crap. All right, what we got is uh, P0102 of a mass airflow, mass or volume airflow, a circuit low current history. P0327 knock sensor circuit low bank one pending. P0332 knock sensor 2 circuit low bank 2 pending and a P0650 malfunction indicator light control circuit Wow And I know I got that oxygen sensor that I need to replace the O2 sensor I know I got I got one of those I need to replace but That crap that looked a little scary guys I have to do some homework. You see? Hey, listen. This this is this is what we're doing over here, man. We're showing the good, the bad, and the ugly. None of this crap is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's truck is running right. This could be big, this could be small. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna tackle it and we're gonna take care of it. I mean, hey baby. I don't like that, and I, I don't. I don't want to just delete them or you know, clear them out. I want to handle that, and I'm gonna handle that right now. So what I'm gonna do is y'all give me a few minutes. I'm gonna do some research on it, and I'll bring y'all back and let y'all know what I come up with with these one, two, three, four codes. One, two, three, four codes. We got four codes, man. Let y'all know in a minute. Hold on. All right, y'all. The first one I pulled up, the Google tell you everything, right? I went down here to my first one at the bottom, the, the last one. The P0650, the malfunction indicator light control circuit. That was the most scariest one to me, right? Okay. <laughs> Check it out what it's saying. 5.3 code P0650. It says the P0 P0650 code is a generic powertrain code related to the to a computer output circuit issues such as an internal computer failure. In this case, it means that a malfunction has been found in the malfunction indicator lamp (MIL) control circuit, at, also known as the check engine light. Okay, cool. That's not that's not that bad. But let's continue on. All right, next up on the list is the P0332 Knock Sensor 2 Circuit Low Bank 2. Okay, <laughs> what the P0332 code means the knock sensor's purpose is to signal the PCM when the engine is pinging. If the PCM is receiving a reading from the knock sensor that is too low, it will not be able to. To accurately accurately send the appropriate signal of the ping and the PCM would not be able to correct the problem 
Okay, let's continue on. All right, guys. Next up, we have code P0327. I want to show y'all everything. You know, I don't want to hide nothing, man. I don't care. It's nothing. Nothing is hide. But we're at P0327, guys. Knock sensor one, circuit low, bank one, section pending. And it says on Google, the purpose of this knock sensor is to, to alert the powertrain control module or PCM that the engine is pinging or knocking. Indi the, the code indicates that the readings from the number one knock sensor circuit are too low. It's outside of its operational window and is malfunctioning. Okay. And I come down here and I see about the repairs to it, you know, just in case. And it says repair, replace the short wiring hornets, repair any connectors, replace the faulty knock sensor, lean conditional repair, resolving issues in the engine control system, cooling system, replacing the PCM rare, you know. So, you know, it says diagnostics. Well, that's, PZ, that's P033 though, so don't, don't, don't worry about that. This, was, this is where we need to be anyway. And it says, Diagnostics Trouble Code P0327 stands for Knock Sensor 1 Circuit Low Input Bank 1 on Single sen Sensor. It is triggered when the powertrain control module PCM detects very low voltage, reading, voltage readings from your vehicle's primary, primary knock sensor circuit. So, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. One more, guys. One more. What else we got? P0102. Mass airflow circuit low. Okay, I unplugged it the other day just because I was just curious about why my truck was kind of stuttering a little bit. But I'm going to tell y'all. Okay, we have a code that says the P0102 diagnostic trouble code means that there is a low condition condition detected in the mass airflow sensor or circuit the pcm detects that the actual mass airflow sensor frequency frequency signal is not performing within a normal ex expected range of calculated mass airflow value so i mean i mean that's that ain't that, i'm not really con too concerned about that i can just clear that out i really need to delete the mass airflow out the system but people say that it's good to run your mass airflow i don't know man i just don't want no problems but this is what's wrong with this truck i'm gonna tell you where all these codes coming from them plugs i put in this truck about two or three months ago i didn't i, I don't i don't know which ones i put in but i didn't put the ones i, I ain't man i gotta have a crook in my neck y'all man i promise man oh my god I need to put some plugs on this truck. That's what it is. I need to stop buying them cheap, crappy plugs. And I need to put some good plugs in my truck, man. And my truck, I don't know what it is when I drive it, the way I drive it. And if I don't keep, you know, I guess it's so it's so much moisture down here where I'm at. If I don't put like a, 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 a can of uh, seafoam in it and, and keep my system cleaned out, you know, it's like my truck file plugs just, I have changed plugs like, Man, two or three times a year. But I drive it hard, y'all. I drive it hard. I stomps on this truck, man, every corner. I turn. Everybody know my truck, man. Everybody know my truck. If it fire up, everybody know. Everybody know. You hear me? So, that's okay. I'll get some plugs, you know, and we'll go from there, man. But for the, for the, for the, for the meantime, let's see something. Let's see something. Okay. Well, we're gonna get some plugs changed in this thing, man. And we're gonna go from there. Let's y'all wanna see them numbers jump? No. Let's clear DTCs out. How about that guys? Let's clear these DTCs out. Let's go ahead and clear on out them DTCs. Let's clear them out. Let's clear them out. Exit. Okay. Let's switch that girl off. Let's switch that girl on. Let's see what she 
you talking about, guys? at my trims. Ouch. That's how it be. That's how it be. Let me stop this here. That's what we're gonna do, y'all, man. We're gonna get some plugs in this thing. But I just want to run y'all down with that HP tuners, man, about them, them codes. When, you know, if you need help, you know, running them codes, y'all can let me know. If you ever get your stuff checked by AutoZone, O'Reilly's, or whatever, you can always call me, I mean, <laughs> call me. <laughs> you can always reach out to me, man, and, and you know, we can get some stuff done, man. Hey, I don't wanna keep nothing from everybody. I wanna be honest. I wanna be as open and honest and genuine as possible on this channel about this truck content, man. I'm not trying to be Billy Bad A or none of that. I just wanna really share my life as my channel says life is j spikes i want y'all to sh sh see my pov of these trucks man and everything else that comes to this channel but right now this channel is about this truck right here man and building it to my specifications and my expectations man and we're gonna do it but i just wanted to let y'all know man i just want to give y'all some different content man a little pov man of different stuff than me just putting something on the truck or ordering something for the truck you know it's just a little different, man. I think this will help somebody out, you know, give somebody kind of a, you know, a idea of if their vehicle is doing the same thing, or LS swap, OBS, whatever, or, you know. You gotta know, man, you gotta learn. I'm just now learning. It's the first time I checked the engine codes on this truck since I had it. So, yeah. I'm not too, I'm not too, I'm not too beat up about the codes that the truck threw, you know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm it's, it, that, that's, that, 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 that shit is a lot of light on what I need to do as far as my vehicle. I need to put some plugs in it, I need to step my game up, and it's time for me to go ahead and do a complete tune-up on the truck. I need to do an oil change on it, you know, it's time for it. We went through the winter, it's summertime, but yeah, we had those four codes, guys wasn't too bad truck still healthy we're living to see another day in the obs world man and hey y'all make sure y'all keep ripping on them trucks man don't sell them keep them in the backyard and enjoy them man hey man y'all be blessed y'all stay safe man i'll see y'all on the next one baby peace